I'm Miss Hazel. Today we're going to talk about one of the simple machine, wheels and axle. All right? Do you know where the wheels and axles you? Besides bicycles, car tires, it's actually you can find the doorknob, skateboard, Ferris wheel, electric fan, and many more. So today we're going to build a buggy. All right, we're going to experiment the wheels and axles and the difference of separate axles and joint axles. All right, let's start building. Help using axles help in our daily life. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside first. So imagine uh, back then when the people build pyramids, they use a lot of blocks, right? So this is our Lego heavy blocks here. So how are you going to move the blocks from one place to another place? Back then, there is no compact machine. There is nothing to help them. So what they're going to do, they're going to come up with a simple machine to help them move the heavy blocks. So these blocks here to lift it up, it's really heavy to lift up. So how are they going to move this from one place to another place? How about we drag it? So I'm going to put it right here, and then let's drag. Yup, it's easier than lift it up. But there are a lot of that. There are a lot of heavy bricks I need to move from one place to another place to build the pyramid. So they need to think of something easier. Okay, so they come up with the ideas of use an axle. All right, the ideas of using the wheels. Okay, let's test it on the wheels. So I take the heavy blocks, put it right at the middle of the car. And now I'm going to do an experiment, dragging this from here, right? So when I drag it, yes, it's much easier. It's way easier to drag with use an axle. See that? Okay, that is one of the simple machine. Now we're going to further experiments the differences of joint axle and separate axle. Do you know what is joint axle and what is separate axle? Okay, so we have. Two set of wheels here, all right? Okay, this is called joint axle, as you can see. It's connected with one axle, where both the wheels move at the same time. Can you see it? Both the wheels move at the same time when I spin. All right, as for this, we call it separate axles, of course. It's con not connected. The left wheels is not connected to the right wheels. Okay, so when I turn one axle, one wheel, the other is not moving. Can you see it? All right, there you go. So the other one is not moving. Okay, it's separate. We're using axle pack here. So what is the difference of joint axle and separate axle? Why separate axle is important? Or why separate axle is used at the front of the car? Okay, you can do this experiment at home. Take a paper, draw a track like this. Can you see? Okay, and then you use the pair of separate axle and try to move along the track. Is it easy? Now, try to use a joint axle. What do you feel? Yes, it's actually more difficult and less flexible to move the wheels. So that is the difference between a separate axle and joint axle. Separate axles allow the outer wheels to move faster, but because they're separated, then you can make a turn. As for wheels that is connected together with joint axle, they move at the same speed. Right, that's about it for today. I'll see you next video. Bye.